on. Did you hear that? The strength of contempt, fear, and hate courses through the rushing veins. Damn it. I told them not to try anything until we arrived. I was hoping you'd find the answer to that question along with Ventrinio. Oh, here he comes now. Maybe he'll tell us. This can't end here. By the gods, it was horrible. He killed them all and nothing could stop him. For now, maybe. I think he only let me live because I ran. Oh, God. How could he have killed them all? He's not even a true author, but nothing even scratched him. The worst thing was, he seemed sorry to kill us. We'd heard the legends of Dren the Bloody, unbeatable defender of the House of Pride. But you know how Fey are with their stories. We were going to be the ones who beat him, and opened the path to Alabastra for the army. We were going to be heroes, you know? Then Dren told us to turn around or we'd die. And gods help us, we didn't turn around. We thought so too. We were wrong. Sometimes one soldier can do what an entire army cannot. You haven't tried going in there, have you? No, of course you haven't. You're still alive. This took a little longer to find than I had hoped, but it should be exactly what you need. Yes, but some of them were Fae. Now, did you know Dren had a twin sister in the Summer Court? She was immune to his power? Dith, the Defender of Valor. And even though she passed on when her house fell, my early experiments with the Well of Souls provided quite a useful surprise. You see, when trying to draw life energy from the ether, I accidentally captured her essence. I was able to bind it into this charm. With this, you will be immune to Dren's power. It's not as powerful as it used to be, and it's specific to Dren. But it'll let you face him and live. Now be fair. They don't have souls as mortals do. They are a form of magic with a physical form. And I only got a little of it anyway. Just enough for a certain degree of immunity to Dren's power. It only works for one person. But it'll be enough for you to reach him. Trouble is, he'll be immune to your power as well. But I'm sure you can think of something. With the essence of valor, you can withstand Dren's attacks. Stop being such a child and go face him.
show that defender what a little magic can do. I don't know what your plan. Turn back or die. Then you shall die like the others before you. I made an oath to protect my house and my homeland. No power short of death can keep me from fulfilling my duties. I sense my sister's essence on you. Did you mean her no harm as well? No matter what tricks you bear, there's no way you can defeat me. My oath stands. could fight each other until the mountains wear away, but that will aid nothing. My sister and I were chosen to protect our kind. So long as our houses stood, the Fey would never pass from this world. I in pride, and she in valor. We never imagined that our houses could crumble beneath our feet. Mortals led to the collapse of my sister's house, but with Gadflo's help, they shall not have mine. He may taint pride with his Prismir and his obscene god, but it will keep us eternal. Before I knew the truth of Tuatha, I swore to keep my homeland safe from invaders. I could never have known what my people would become. Fae never change, and pride's honor never yields. I cannot yield, but if your true intent is to stop Gadflow, then perhaps there is a way my house and my honor could remain pure. If you would promise to spare the House of Pride, then we could put aside our powers and have an honest battle. Win, and your army may pass. I thank you. Destroy the Tuatha in my house and the hateful witch knight Myrna. Then we can be free. Now release my sister's essence, and I shall relent my own powers. Let us face each other as equals, and see who is truly worthy of victory. You did it! You actually beat him! Guess I owe Ventrinio a drink. A promise is a promise, and the Witch Knights of Pride would be powerful allies to have on our side. I'll send a few soldiers along to help. Meanwhile, I'll get the other troops ready to move into Alabastro once that gate opens. The gate to Alabastro still closed. And we can't open it without the House of Pride's help. Clean out the Tawatha inside, and we can move on. Get that gate open, and the army will be ready to... The High King Mathon ruled the bleak, silent fields of Wintertide. He kept the season as it should be. The blizzards howling, with the skies here, filled lose. with snow in the gloom of a long night. He purified the land under a white blanket and allowed death to end the slow decay of autumn. The woods paid homage in leaves. The waters paused at his arrival. The world revered him in a barren stillness.
You would be so kind as to have a word with us. I have been chosen by the remaining members of our house to speak for all. We were most honored by your intention to free us. Loath as we are to get our hands dirty in this scuffle, perhaps we can offer a more indirect assistance. Simply carry forth and destroy Witch Knight Myrna. And her dreadful Prismere Chantry, of course. We eagerly anticipate your success. Done, child of dust. You've killed the immortal defender and liberated a house full of arrogant backstabbers. I shall thank you for exposing the disloyal amongst my kin. But then, I have so much to thank you for. Pride? Their betrayal was inevitable. But soon you faced the House of Vengeance. And their loyalty to Tiernok is absolute. Pure. Instinct. The Goddess of Mercy awakens. And with every step you take into my homeland, she comes that much closer to walking our world and purging your kind. So, welcome to Alabastra. It shall be the death of you once more. We have seen our champion bested, our advantage lost, and our minds are cleared. 
Bravo to you, champion. House of Pride, in our ineffable wisdom, renounces the Tuatha and demands that you accept our immediate surrender. Your army is welcome here. We trust our benevolence will be well remembered should Gadflow be dethroned. We thank you kindly, and our mages have already been assisting your army in their march into Alabastra. We trust you do not object. Most excellently spoken. You have the commanding presence of a young Aegon, who once also bore the pleasure of our august company. Allow us to welcome you to Alabastra. We trust your visit will be... eventful. Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. Now is the difficult part. We can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra, but we don't have the forces to mount a siege on Gadflow. Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together, and the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we split up, we can travel faster and catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead, I'll see you in Alabastra. I need to talk with you, but not here. I'll find you in Alabastra. I've put together a few facts about your death, and I think I know something grave. But not here. I don't want to cause a panic. I'll give them the slip and talk with you a little later. Hero of Melsenshir. I've heard all about you. Private Eilis Uva at your service. Don't have much for supplies, but you're welcome to them.
Until one Agarth wanted me to keep an eye on Lady Shear, but you and I need to have a talk first. I've been reviewing my notes of our last trip to Alabastra, and I've come to some startling conclusions about your death and Tiernock. I don't know exactly, but it must have been a tremendously powerful source of magic. So powerful that the Well of Souls couldn't help but pick up on it. You were attuned to the well in my lab, but Hugh's well captured your essence. The power in Bale seems to have been the missing element. What's more, I think that power is the source of the Prismere Crystals. Something intelligent and malignant. The creature the Tuatha called Tiernok. something incredibly powerful. I don't know if we even have a name for what she is, because no one's lived to name it. She's not a god. She's something much, much worse. And judging by the growth of this Prismere, she's very close to coming into our world for good. Whatever Gadflow's been doing, it's all in order to bring her here. So you've got to stop him before it's too late. With tremendous difficulty, even so, there weren't as many Tuatha here, and we used magic to keep us hidden. Magic which you provided, in fact. You never did explain where you got those fascinating little artifacts.
Flow's corruption has reduced my homeland to this barren waste, and it's only getting worse. You've still got plenty of this blasted wasteland to go. 
You're lucky you don't remember how beautiful they used to be. Before Gadflow. Now keep your wits about you. These Prismia crystals are alive, and inside them, I feel something horrible and hungry. Watch out for Twilight Pass.
Coriolia Scathe heads. Surgeon <laughs> here in Melsenshire. Farewell. to restock. Doldran has what you need. Come back to game. And he was not alone. Like the weave unraveling, the Tuatha now tainted the purity of Mathon's court. These new immortals, the Tuatha Deol, were no longer the solemn fay of the East. Their essence is twisted into a ravenous host, unsettled, unnatured. From the nothing of winter came Godflow's malice. Ready to die. <laughs> 